This is London Calling. Good evening all, hope you're well. We're going to have a Boxing Day smoke of a Cuban cigar tonight. And it's going to be the Bolivar Royal Corona. Um, I don't think I've had one of these before. This is a, f a virtually a 5x50, it's a 50 ring gauge, and I think it's a touch under 5 inches. Um, I've uh, historically stayed away from Bolivars because when I first started smoking cigars, I uh, was always told that these are really, really strong and they'll knock you on your, on, on, on your back. So I kind of stayed away, um, but I have had the uh, regional edition, the UK regional edition, which is the um, the Belgravia, which I didn't find too strong, and I've had the Bellicoso Fino, which I didn't find too strong, which is the little uh, Pyramides, the Bellicoso. Um, so um, I was in 1A last week, and um, I picked one up. I thought I'd give it a go and see what it's like. So. Um, it looks like a fairly classic, robusta sized Cuban cigar. Um, it's fairly rustic looking in terms of the wrapper. It's not the smoothest wrapper in the world. It's not the roughest wrapper in the world. Um, overall, um, it's, it's a nice looking cigar, fairly typically Cuban looking. Uh, there is a, it looks like a double cap on the top it's got a little bit of I think this is a 2015 cigar if I'm not mistaken there's a nice little bit of a chocolatey kind of aroma on the wrapper and on the foot it's a little bit of that plus there's a bit of spicy cedar possibly a touch of ammonia but only a touch so we'll get it cut I haven't done one of these cigar videos in a while. Um, it's got a really nice aged dry draw on it. The cedar is tangy. A little bit of a tight draw, but not in any way, shape or form um, worrying at all. Interesting dry draw. It's, it's got the cedary kind of flavour, herby flavour, but um, it's also got um, the impression of age. A little bit of mustiness there, which is really enticing. So the first light I always prefer to do with a soft flame. This is um, rated as a full strength, full flavour, full bodied cigar. It's reputed to be quite chocolatey, sort of espresso kind of flavours, coffee, it's, um, chocolate, dark chocolate. So we shall see. Okay, we'll leave that there for a few moments and we'll come back. Well, only a couple of minutes in, maybe half an inch in, and uh, already getting some very nice coffee, sort of latte kind of flavours coming through. Um, creamy, buttery kind of flavour, which you do get with a lot of uh, Cuban cigars um, in the beginning, but then you get tend to get into that particular brand's DNA after that. And in this one, that creamy butteriness is starting to subside, it's still there, but it's starting to subside and I'm getting at the moment that um, signature flavour which some people describe as a metallic flavour um, it's kind of a
um, I suppose you might call it hmm. it's like a savoury herb kind of flavour um, the draw is a little bit odd uh, because it, I thought it was quite tight on the dry draw before I lit it it's opened up quite nicely after being lit but um, it's not producing a lot of smoke at the moment the retrohale is very nice um, I only retrohale very lightly with cigars um, but it adds to the creaminess of the smoke that flavour is, is I can only describe it as a kind of a herb uh, kind of flavour, like a green herb kind of flavour um, but it's really quite bright um, on the brighter end of the spectrum of flavours and it's kind of undertoned with some light coffee the finish on the tongue is a slight light coffee flavour for me it's, it's this herby flavour is, is almost veering over to something like oregano or oregano as you might call it it's an interesting kind of a green herb um, kind of flavour so we shall see how it develops well first third in and ash has held on okay so far um, but it's you know ash I can see that it's, it's tipping already so I'm gonna ash it well it's actually pretty solid um, so I'm going to leave it um, but it's smoking actually quite fast I've been smoking this for about uh, 18 minutes um, so far um, flavours are very very consistent exactly the same as it was before um, that sort of bright herby green herby slash metallic flavour if you want to call it that it's not really metallic It's, <clears throat> but I'm just calling it that because people refer to it as that but to me it's uh, a bright herby kind of flavour with a, a light coffee finish um, I'm, I'm not really getting that real heavy fullness or strength coming through yet um, but that will obviously remain to be seen in the coming thirds see you soon well like I said this is smoking quite fast um, I've been smoking this for 35 minutes roughly uh, something like that and we're almost on the final third um, <coughs> the smoke output is a lot better now the draw is good um, the, the burn line is a little bit haywire but nothing too dramatic um, flavour wise that typical Bolivar metallic -y, herby kind of flavour is really up front and central There's a nice musty tang to it, uh, like a cocoa-y kind of tang. Um, on the draw, on the tongue, in the sort of the juices in your mouth, it's that really heavy metallic flavour. Um, in the past, when I smoked Bolivars, I got the flavour, but not as intense as this. I think the Bellicosa Finos is a, is a milder uh, blend of the Bolivar profile and the Belgravia which is a UK regional is probably almost definitely a lot lighter because it caters for the UK market which um, I would imagine the full on Bolivars if you were to get a regional edition from say the Middle East or from France probably would be a lot heavier um, than the Belgravia and the UK regional. But this one is classic. Um, this is your what you would expect from Bolivar um, in their central uh, line. Um, so not adjusted for any particular market. This is their central the Corona, probably their best seller, I would imagine. The Royal Corona. So that, that flavour is really quite heavy. Um, it's the first time I'm really experiencing it. Um, 
I do find the flavour profile really to be quite high up in the upper end um, of, of the flavour spectrum and because of that metallic-y kind of flavour or herby flavour, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not getting a lot of chocolate. A lot of people talk about chocolate, dark chocolate, but I've got a little bit of a, a cocoa esque kind of flavour on the retrohale. The retrohale does improve it. It does give it a little bit of creaminess. And there is still a mild hint of coffee on the finish. Um, I would certainly say it's not your classic Cuban flavour profile. Um, it kind of hints at giving you some sweetness, but it doesn't quite come um, into the flavour profile. The, the flavour in the mouth is definitely full on at the moment. I'm not getting major strength at the moment, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely medium plus by now, um, in terms of strength. And in terms of fullness, I would say it's full um, at this stage. Cigar's getting quite warm. And uh, getting now a little bit of a uh, an almond paste kind of flavour coming in at the finish as well. Just going to set it down for a bit, let it cool down a little bit. Well, we're well into the final third, and the flavour's still really full. Not getting a huge uh, hit in terms of strength, but there is some strength there. Um, Flavour-wise, it's altogether much rounder now, much more balanced, much more sort of covering the whole spectrum, the lower end, the middle, and the top. So you've still got that metallic flavour, but you've got a nice tobacco flavour at the middle, in the middle, and then you've got... Um, this kind of uh, the lower end and middle is kind of combined if that makes any sense the, the, I can't really separate it out you, it's got a nice rounded tobacco flavour and then you've got the high end um, kind of metallic flavour at the top starting to get a little bit of sweet tanginess now coming through especially with the retrohale the retrohale on this cigar is really quite uh, a must um, I don't usually retrohale a great deal I do just to sort of see what it's like and I don't often um, get a huge uh, um, improvement by doing that on cigars um, usually I enjoy it the most at the beginning when there's that creamy buttery kind of nutty flavor and the retrohale does improve that and enhance that um, but um, usually once I get into the cigar I find the retrohale to be a little bit too spicy um, and a little bit too sharp but on this cigar it certainly helps it definitely adds to uh, complete the profile of the flavour <coughs> lots of richness coming through tanginess coming through um, and it's really now tasting like a Cuban cigar the metallic flavour is really not, um, uh, you know, in the centre anymore. It's not in the forefront. It's there, but it's really just part of the overall flavour profile. And lots of um, tanginess, almond paste, tobacco, a bit of coffee, um, and possibly a bit chocolatey now as well. Cigar is really quite warm. Has been for a while, um, but still very enjoyable at the moment. Okay, well, time for a summing up. Uh, coming towards the end, you know, most people would have set it down by now, but I do like to smoke them as far as I can. I tend to really enjoy them the most right at the end. And that still holds true with this cigar. Um, still haven't got myself a proper nubber. I really ought to get one. Okay, so let's summarize. So construction. Let's start off with visual construction. Um, as usual, visual construction, fairly standard, nothing spectacular, nothing terrible. 
um, just a run of the mill Cuban cigar. Um, the fill was it felt pretty good. The fill, um, a little bit of give um, when you um, sort of uh, manipulated the cigar between your fingers before you light it, um, and that was absolutely as it should be. Right humidity. <coughs> um, so visual construction fairly average. Um, six and a half to a seven out of ten. Um, mechanical construction a bit of a mixed bag really. Um, started off the burn actually was pretty good um, in the beginning and it burnt quite fast um, but I did find that the draw didn't produce much smoke so I was really tugging on it quite a bit to produce a mouthful of smoke that did improve as you got through the scar probably around the halfway through um, but I still had to make sure that I had a, a fairly regular a cadence otherwise it would then sort of drop back and I'd have to draw on it a few times in order to get the smoke through again um, but the draw was fine um, I was a bit nervous about it on the dry draw before I lit um, it felt a little bit snug but it was absolutely fine once it was lit um, and actually a very good draw um, the burn line itself never went um, sort of uh, critical but it did waver um, a fair amount um, and I did touch it up a few times but as I say nothing critical um, perhaps if I would have left it, it would have got uh, to that stage, but um, I didn't leave it. Um, it never went out on me. Um, so from that point of view, the combustion, as I say, there, w there was some issue, I'm not sure what it was, that was creating that lack of smoke coming through. Um, so overall combustion was reasonable, um, and I would give it around a six to a six and a half for com for uh, mechanical construction. Flavors. Right at the beginning, was very nice, creamy, nutty, buttery, um, a little bit of coffee that lasted uh, maybe halfway into the first third, and then in comes that traditional, classic. Bolivar flavor which people describe as that metallic flavor to me it was a really quite quite a green herby kind of uh, flavor um, I said oregano before but I don't really know which one I would say it, it is maybe um, I don't know uh, I'm not gonna say it's uh, a name of a herb if I don't really know I can't really identify the exact flavor but it was that kind of flavor a green herby kind of flavor the type of flavour that the type of herb that you would put in your stew or you'd put on your pizza, that kind of thing. Um, but that flavour did turn more metallic as you got through the cigar. So I would say that for the first third, first third and a half, uh, that metallic flavour was up front and central, as I said earlier on, and it really was the dominant flavour. There was still a little bit of a, that sort of light coffee flavour on the finish. Um, um, cedar actually I didn't get at all throughout the smoke. Um, I really didn't get that. I didn't get much sweetness in the cigar. Occasionally it kind of hinted that it was going to, but it didn't really. Um, the retrohale did improve it a little bit, gave a little hint of sweetness, um, but really not a particularly sweet cigar, really quite savoury. Final third was really the, the highlight for me. Uh, flavours became much more harmonious, um, so you had a much more of a spectrum of flavours, um, which really rounded things off um, and it really gave it more of a, a picture of a, of, a, of a whole sort of um, all, all the, the flavors that you'd expect in a cigar so it covered um, the sort of lower to middle um, flavor spectrum giving you some nice uh, almond paste good tobacco flavors some coffee um, and possibly a bit of mild chocolate as we got towards the end but I wouldn't really call this a chocolatey cigar although other people really have highlighted that it is a chocolatey cigar I personally didn't get it um, so the final third was the highlight for me uh, it, it, the, the temperature of the cigar did actually get quite warm already halfway down the cigar and it stayed that way to the end but I've kind of managed that and, and kept my cadence a little bit slower towards the end to stop it overheating and it's really been quite okay um, it hasn't really got to the stage where I'm burning my lips on it. So flavour wise, um, again a mixed bag. Um, it's certainly an interesting cigar, um, but when I, when I judge on flavour it's really based on what I like. Um, so for me, flavour wise, 
albeit being a lot better in the final third. Uh, an interesting, an interesting smoke. Um, so I suppose it gets some marks for being different. Um, it's really got quite a kick now. Um, get a nice bit of rich tanginess on the tongue. Um, so flavour-wise, I'm going to go for an 8 out of 10 because I think it is interesting. It was never um, an unpleasant cigar. Even when it was really metallic, it was really very nice, very enjoyable, very smokable. Um, <coughs> and the final third is very, very nice indeed. Um, not great, but very, very nice. So an 8, eight and a half maybe for flavours. Um, the flavours definitely the highlight of the cigar. Um, and in terms of where am I up to? We've done flavours. Okay, so fullness. Um, first third, I would say. Um, well, first half inch, I would say mild. Um, once we've got well into the first third, it was already a good medium, medium plus, and then beyond that, it was a full for the rest of the cigar in terms of fullness, in terms of strength. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm quite uh, used to cigars nowadays, so. Um, I haven't really gotten a major nicotine hit off it. I can, I'm feeling nice and subdued and relaxed with it. Um, certainly there is some um, nick hit there, but not a huge one for me. Um, so I would say for the first half of the cigar, a mild to medium. Um, for the final bit, I would say medium plus. Um, moving towards full for me, but not really ever reaching full. So overall mark. Despite the lower scores on the other on the other categories, I'm still going to say an eight because the flavour really is what's really what we're all about when it comes to smoking cigars. Um, and and the flavours I gave an eight or an eight and a half, and I'm going to give the overall mark an eight because uh, it's been a very nice cigar. I've enjoyed it. So that's been the uh, Bolivar uh, Royal Corona. Very nice cigar. Is it something that I would pursue? Probably not, but it would be nice to have every so often. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. This is London Calling.